Hey there, my name is Zinc. Today I'm back in Minecraft, but I'm able to fuse items. Today our goal is to beat the Ender Dragon, and if you enjoy, I'd really appreciate if you subscribed. Let's get into it. Ooh, this is really pretty. Okay, we got some cherry wood up there, and a really nice landscape. Cool stuff. Holy cow, that's a cave and a half. <laughs> um, I have to be careful here. Okay, there's a creeper and stuff down here. There's also coal and iron, which... I do want to get. Now, as well as getting some basic tools, I need to get two pistons and some redstone to be able to fuse my items together. So, I, I need to get some iron for those pistons. And, oh! uh, yeah, I, I need to get some iron and some redstone right now. This is concerning. <laughs> okay, I think I need some food from the, <laughs> the ground up above. <laughs> See if there are any fish in this river here. All right, I've got enough food. I'm just going to go smelt this up real quick. Ooh, I also need a feather for something later. Be very careful, I'm on a half heart. This is not the cave that I remember. I've gone somewhere, and I don't know exactly where. I think I'm close to where I was a, a little bit earlier, but... I, I guess we'll see after we have some food. All right, now I want to find that cave again. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that was close by. Let's get down here. Now I want to get the- holy cow, that's a lot of creepers. Now I want to get the the rest of the iron I need, and also some redstone. Let's see where that is. Some iron. Ah! Oh hey, that's actually good. I needed the, uh, the bone for something later as well. Gotta get one piece of copper as well. There are a lot of little things we'll need to grab on the way. Need to go deeper for redstone. All right, well, I checked out that cave and I couldn't find any more places to go further down. So I'm going to have to look for a different cave, a different cave. That's the same cave. <laughs> Alley oop. Oh, <laughs> that was close. Hold up, Mr. Glow Squid. Oh, hey, Lapis. <laughs> That's another one of the random things we need. Let's grab that. Any redstone around? This is a huge water cave. This is kind of crazy. Is this a new cave? It looks like it. Okay, that's good. This looks promising. Holy cow, this goes pretty far down. Okay. Is that a ravine too? Holy cow. Uh, not quite a... Oh, not a ravine, a whole nother cave. <laughs> um, I need to make my way down here safely. Is there any redstone around? Okay, okay, there's some redstone. Okay, this is scary. <laughs> I'm on three hearts. Get in the wall. Holy cow. That's a lot of mobs. No! My W key fell off my keyboard! <laughs> it's not a joke! Holy cow, that was close. Okay, let's get this gold and redstone and get out of here. How much redstone do I need? I need like 13 pieces, I think. Is that enough? Hey! Plenty. Oh, wait, I've been dodging all these creepers, but I also need gunpowder. <laughs> need six gunpowder in total. So as much as I am a little bit scared, I'm going to try and get these guys. Oh, that guy dropped two. What? Oh my gosh, is that more? Eee! There's deep dark down there. Oh, wait, I should mark this. I might come back here after the ender dragon fight. I feel like once I have all the, the fancy stuff, uh, that I'm gonna get today. I feel like I could probably kill the warden. No, 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 <laughs> no, stop, 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 stop. Bro, these mobs have no chill. Holy, I just have an arrow sticking out the back of my head. Okay, I only need two more gunpowder. I wonder if there are any more creepers down here. Actually, you can go above ground. It's nighttime, it looks like. Hello, creepers. There's so many mobs. How much stuff is around here? <laughs> what if I try and explode some creepers with a creeper? Hold on, I'm gaming. I'm gaming. No. Oh my gosh. Hey, we have all the gunpowder we need. <laughs> Alrighty. I made an absolutely beautiful house and it's... 
They're monsters. I'm in danger. <laughs> How much stuff just spawned? <laughs> ah. Let's try that again. All right, now in my absolutely beautiful house, I'm gonna get some rest. I'm gonna put down a chest, smelt some stuff. All right, I've sorted out my inventory, and I think it's time to build the fusing machine. All right, now for this, we need two pistons facing each other, with two blocks in between. We need to place down some redstone so that we can power the pistons at the same time. And then we have a button. Now, our first thing that we're gonna combine is a brush and a gold ingot. This makes... <laughs> I forgot to add the data pack. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> it should work now. There we are. This is the golden brush. And it's what's going to get us geared up. Now if I right click the ground, you'll see it makes it in the coarse dirt. And if I keep right clicking, it'll start giving us good loot. Very good loot. So I'm going to do this uh, and get some armor, weapons, and tools, and I will get back to you. All right. After using the brush for a bit, I've got plenty of gear, and soon I'm going to go to the nether. But first, I need to find a beehive, because we need a honey block to make something that's going to help us a lot in the nether. So I'm going to go look for one of those. Now, I've seen some bees around here before, but I haven't seen any of their hives yet. I'm perplexed. I know I saw a bee here earlier, but I can't find their hive. Hey, there's some. Good stuff. Okay. Now, according to like a few seconds from this random YouTube video I watched, it looks like you put a campfire under it to smoke them out. I don't know if it like totally brings them out or if it uh, just neutralizes them from getting mad at you for taking honey. But, it doesn't look like it has any honey in it. Is this one? No. Oh no. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Ah. Uh, hmm. Am I gonna have to AFK here? Oh, well, I was setting up... Oh my gosh! I was setting up a, a place to AFK, and they very kindly uh, made us two honey. Which is very good. Ah, one of them's done. That's a start. Oh, oh, there's a there's a bee going. There's a bee going. I'm gonna play something on my phone and just watch. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite game to play on your phone? I think mine Minecraft is always good, but I usually play that on the computer. Uh right now I'm playing I don't know how many people actually play this still. I'm playing uh, something called Super Toss the Turtle. Oh, honey. I uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a it's a it's a decent decent game. I think it used to be a flash game, which is I mean that's cool. Okay, now we have two more bottles of honey, which is good, and that will let us make one honey block. How long did that take? Holy cow! I think that took <laughs> that took longer than I expected it to. Oh, sorry, G. My guy, I I apologize. Look, I I gotta I gotta I gotta go. Uh, <laughs> talk to you later, man. I forgot to put a campfire below it. <laughs> All right, now that we have the honey, we will make it into a block. And in the fusing station, I throw one honey block there, and one bone here, which makes <laughs> which makes a pet bee. Now, what this one does is it gives you constant slow falling, which is nice. Uh, but its main feature, and the reason I wanted it for the nether, is it lets you fly. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, <laughs> slow down. Uh, so yeah, oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna make a portal real quick. Alrighty, let's go. Okay, that's uh, an interesting spawn. Oh, hey, a fortress. <laughs> that's lucky. Uh, am I gonna hit the lava? <laughs> oh, no. oh, that was close. 
<laughs> Holy cow. All right, well, now that we're in the nether, uh, I'm gonna get some blazes. <laughs> uh, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Ow. Ah, stop. Okay. I mean, ow. I have good armor, so I guess I don't really need to build this whole thing that I usually build. Let's just go in and get him. All right, already halfway there. Only one more. Nice, we got eight. Now, what else? I think I need something else from the nether. Let me look at my list. That's right, okay, I need a glowstone block. So I think I'm going to start heading back towards the portal and on the way, or actually maybe that glowstone sort of up above the portal will do. Now I have to, <laughs> holy cow, now, now I have to be careful when I'm flying because if this thing gets too close to blocks, it disappears and I don't want it to do that in a spot where I can't recover because that would not be good. Ah, stop. How is there a guy up here? I guess the Crimson Forest over there. Alrighty. Nice. I think that was the only other thing we needed. So, let's make our way back down to the portal. Oh my gosh. Stop, 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 That was way too close. Oh my gosh. Alright, now that we're back from the nether, and I got these eight blaze rods in this glowstone, I'm going to craft up a few things. Now, one glowstone and one lapis block makes the glowing staff. This has two abilities, the first of which will be useful for breaking the end crystals on the pillars. It is a long-ranged... Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that would kill you. <laughs> it is a long-ranged zappy attack thing. You can also crouch... Uh, which marks all the enemies or mobs in the general area and does just a small amount of damage. Bro, it really started raining. Come on, I'm recording. All right, it started raining, so I built this uh, so that the rain wouldn't totally destroy the bitrate. Now, our second thing is the glass blade. Now, the glass blade, when you crouch, makes all the stone around you turn into glass. And if you right click, it breaks all of it in a line. Uh, so it's a little ridiculous. So that's one of its functions. Also though, when you crouch, it causes nearby entities to take bleed damage. So if I crouch by this cow, it, it, uh, it does that. Will this rain go away? Now the final thing we're gonna be crafting is the, the final thing we're going to be crafting is the fireball cannon. This thing is ridiculous. Uh, it does a lot of damage and it also does that. I'm sorry. I didn't even mean to hit you. So that's going to be really good against the ender dragon. I'm going to wait for this rain to clear up and then I'm going to head to the stronghold. All right. Now that we have that all crafted up, I'm going to head to the stronghold. Oh, wait, what? Did that just go directly down? Holy cow. It's like right here? Right there. Now to get down there, I want to try using the glass blade. So if I crouch... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh! Hey, that was fast. Whoa. What? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen that. That's crazy. Dude, I feel like I've been seeing like crazy stuff in the seeds recently. That is crazy. It's like totally intersecting it. Huh. What if I use this to get through some walls? <laughs> that skeleton walked right into that. Oh my gosh. Is it this way? That didn't do as much as I thought it would. Also, I'm almost dead. Holy cow. What happens if I... 
Oh. Oh, sorry, man. I. Does it make stone bricks into. Yeah, it makes stone bricks into glass. Hey, I mean, that'll be useful for finding the portal room, I think. <laughs> huh? Okay, so this. <laughs> this stronghold has a mine shaft and a mob spawner that intersect it. But the mob spawner spawned without a spawner because this spawned in its way. That's crazy. What? What are the odds? This one's not totally intersecting it, but it's there's a second mob spawner here. What the heck? I'll leave the seed down below. It's in version 1.20.1 on Java Edition. And these are the, the cords of this, this stronghold. Am I almost there? <laughs> How far down does this go? Finally! Oh my gosh! Alrighty. It's time to go to the end. Deploy the bee. <laughs> Alright. So we can start getting it with this stuff, I think. Oh. Don't worry about that. It's fine. Let's try this. That's pretty cool. I have to say, this is probably the weirdest Ender Dragon fight I've seen. Oh my gosh, that was a bee clutch. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. Ah, hit. What? Oh, it act that was a second accidental bee clutch. It activated the slow falling thing. Holy cow. I think that's all of them, right? Okay. Okay, we got all the crystals. Now we have to wait for her to perch. Actually, can I hit her in midair? Oh, look at the damage! Holy cow! Oh! Okay. Probably only two more hits. Oh my gosh, they hit! It showed like creepers flying away. Probably two more hits. <laughs> One, two, yeah, there we go. You can't some good powder from the creepers. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Good stuff. Nice. Ooh, do we want the egg? Can the egg withstand a fireball? Ah. Whoopsie daisy. All right, now this is usually where I'd end the video, but I do want to see what would happen if I go up against a warden. So I'm going to go back to that deep dark that I saw earlier. I need some shriekers so I can summon a warden. There's one. Hey, buddy. All right. Yeah. How many times do you have to that many times? Holy cow. Can I? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. That's funky. Oh! I can't get out of here. Oh no! No! Well, I guess that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'll be posting again next Saturday. So I hope to see you there. And that's it. See ya.